Good day. Um, I'm Rian Ru, and in this video, I want to discuss the RTL feature and some adjustments you can make um, for the Chirson CX20 or Quantum Nova, as it's known, depending on where you buy it from. Now, uh, just a quick background before I start with my uh, settings. What I found is a lot of people complain that when they invoke the RTL feature or the return to home feature is that let's say it's way over there and your quadcopter returns it'll take a quite a bit of time so it starts from there and slowly will return to overhead and that is where for some people it seems to stop some people have thought this process to be so long that they thought it's not working so they attempt manual control and whatever etc etc however when I looked at the audio pilot and the settings etc which are available for the flight controller for the CX-20 Quantum Nova I discovered that there is a setting which uh, actually limits its amount of time which it is going to loiter overhead and that setting is actually called uh, bear with me for a minute for a second uh, RTL Loit Time uh, described here as time in milliseconds to loiter above the home position before beginning the final descent now heaven knows why that is set to 20,000 milliseconds or in other words 20 seconds 20 seconds seems for, like forever and when you are in a low voltage situation low battery you want it to land as soon as possible now uh, I'm assuming it is so that it can just make sure that of its GPS location etc and make, maybe make s uh, small adjustments so I changed that value to 5,000 right now I'm getting ahead of myself in the description below I've set all these uh, parameters which I have changed uh, I've uh, included the values that they were and the values that I changed them to now please do this at your own risk if this does not work for you or it messes up your uh, audio pilot or your, 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 your flight controller your quantum nova your cx20 please it is at your risk not mine this is what i did i'm explaining to you what i did and i'm going to demonstrate this now for the first time i actually did this at home before i came here so this is my first test so if you're seeing this on facebook on on uh, <laughs> sorry if you're seeing this on youtube then obviously something went right and uh, I'm happy with the, the settings as they are um, okay a number of other settings which I also did change Be, but before we get into the settings that I, that I changed on the audio pilot website uh, you can just go look, search for this for, it's the mission planner um, RTL is described as in return to launch RTL mode the copter navigates from its current position to hover above the home position so it's going to return to home or where it launched from the behavior of the RTL mode can be controlled by several adjustable parameters these are the parameters I uh, was interested in which I changed right in the overview it says when the RTL mode is selected the copter will return to the home location the copter will first rise to RTL alt before returning home or maintain the current altitude if the current altitude is higher than RTL alt now that's another one I changed I made it 25 meters instead of the standard 15 meters which it is set at I don't know about the others I don't know what your setting is I prefer 25 meters because yeah 15 meters may be enough but in some locations I get to I prefer 25 meters right okay let's get over uh, interestingly it says here 
the, in RTL mode, the flight controller uses a barometer which measures, measures air pressure as a primary means of determining altitude. And if the air pressure is changing in your area, the copter will follow the air pressure change rather than actual altitude. Unless you are within 20 feet of the ground and have a sonar installed and enabled, in which case we don't. So bear that in mind. Right, the options you can change are, are the usual user adjustable parameters, RTL alt. Now I've already said I've changed this from 15 meters or 15,000, which is because it's in centimeters in my case. Um, but you have to, depending on where you are in the world, if you're on your feet, change it to whatever you need and you feel is your height. I changed it to 25 meters. RTL Alt Final, I check, obviously left at zero because that's where you want this thing to land, at zero. Um, RTL Lloyd Time, that was at 20,000 milliseconds, which I, I feel is just a little way too much. So I changed it to five, uh, five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. That way up there, to me, I feel is enough. If it's not, if there's someone that has a, a clear technical explanation of why you need more than five seconds, please explain to me. But uh, I feel it's a bit of a waste of time. Right, ooh, we got a bit of a wind picking up. But anyway, we're gonna still test this. Um, another one I changed is the waypoint your behavior. Uh, it never changes your. In my case, just to be funny, I changed it to face the next way, waypoint, which actually includes the RTL. So it'll actually face me as it's coming back. So the camera will be facing me if I'm be uh, taking um, video. Right. Now, another thing I did change, the landing speed, I did change. It was originally set to 50 centimeters per second, and I changed that to 75. Um, now, if you look at, if you have ever invoked RTL, you know that 50 centimeters per second comes down very, very slow. And I feel that 75 is not going to damage it. So I'm going to give that a shot. If it works, great. If it doesn't, I'll change it back. Now, there are a couple of other parameters which are not directly associated with RTL, which, however, do affect RTL. Those are under the waypoint navigation control. Waypoint navigation acceleration. I pushed up a little. Check my settings in the description bar below. Waypoint uh, navigation, loiter speed, uh, navigation speed. I, I didn't fiddle with the rest, but I'm not even going to mention them. But anyway, those are the main ones. And I feel that if these settings which I have changed, the ones that I have mentioned now, can actually improve the speed at which I return, my quadcopter to its landing spot, uh, to its launch spot, then uh, I feel that this test might be a success. But anyway, let's go ahead and let's see what this is like. I'm going to switch on my transmitter. Now, do bear in mind that we do have a bit of a breeze coming from, it has now changed a bit of location, it is now more to the south. Uh, our southeast I would say and uh, I'm gonna be trying to fly it in that direction so that you can see most of what this flight is going to be like however when it's gonna come over it obviously at 25 meters it is, it is gonna be too high for the camera but uh, yes all right I'm gonna be arming the motors and uh, okay one two 